diseases of bear uh, so we'll see the list of important diseases in bear so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in bell bear so first one is powdery mildew which is caused by iridium erythrophoids farmer species zippy and alternaria leaf spot which is caused by alternaria cartarum and soft rot which is caused by formopsis netsume so we will see one by one so this powdery mildew first one which is caused by iridium erythrophoids farmer species zzp so we can see the symptoms so white color powdery growth can be appears on the berries and as well as fruits i mean as well as uh, leaves also we can see the same white color powdery growth appearance so in severe cases the whole fruits are entire berries are entire fruits are convert i mean covered with white color a dense powdery masses so in the later stages the affected fruits will drop i mean droop down and uh, you know uh, uh, we can see the cracking symptoms also we can a uh, later stages observe but the major symptoms is white color powdery growth can be appears on the berries and as well as leaves so coming to the management aspects uh, spraying dinocap 0.1% or wettable sulfur 0.2% can be recommended so especially at uh, during a first third weeks of november so you know uh, uh, if the uh, when the fruit attains a pea size or uh, fruit attains a pea size then we can recommend the spraying of this and two sprays of carbendazim at the rate of 0.2% at 15 days interval can be uh, manage this disease the second one is alternaria leaf spot which is caused by alternaria chartarum or cartarum so coming to the symptoms we can see on the leaves on the upper surface of leaf especially brown color spots can be seen on the upper surface of with clear concentric rings brown color spots with black black center can be seen brown color spots with black center and concentric rings are clearly observed here these are the concentric rings and moreover the conformation of concentric rings is the special character of alternaria so the initial the small spots are happens and later the small spots coalesces and becomes and become covered with entire leaf and big big spots are uh, we can observe and along with the concentric rings and uh, uh, black uh, center coming to the management aspects so this can be effectively controlled by the spraying of mancozip 0.25% so coming to the third one soft rot which is caused by pomopsis netsume so the name itself indicates soft rot rotting of uh, uh, you know uh, berries or fruits so the disease initially we can see on leaves in leaves we can see the irregular spots we can see uh, we can see here irregular uh, spots uh, can be seen on uh, leaves and also fruits also can be seen the same irregular spots so the small spots are uh, increased in size in later stages that can covers the entire leaf and as well as in if we, if if the symptoms are appears in fruits in later stages it covers the entire fruit and pulpy regions so later they convert into black, brown to black in color and rotting and softening of tissues can happens in later stages we can see here initially small spots later softening and rotting can be happens Uh, with loose out skin also can be observed but softening and rotting of the fruits are the major characteristic symptoms so coming to the management aspects this disease can be managed by the efficiently managed by the spraying of uh, carbendazim 0.05% so coming to questions related to ars or nectar for exams uh, might be uh, they can ask casal organisms rather than that uh, there is nothing much so this is about bear